Hey, peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, you guys. It's your boy JX Flex. I'm back at it again. Um, like I said, I told you I was gonna go back on and I was going to discuss about the whole thing about the Kevin Samuels thing. Oh man. No mind the noise, man. People just out here trying to flex out here. You know, it's on a Friday night. Uh, I've been out here in the YouTube. I'm gonna say this. I've been. My story with YouTube was. It started off with women. And it really did. It started off was. You, I'm a pretty good, decent guy. I got a good head on my shoulders. I'm not hot there in the streaks. And it, it really started off from there. It really did. And apparently. It went from trying to figure out why wasn't I getting attention from females and women. And I got introduced to the red pill. O'Shea, Du Jackson, Angry Man, uh, Reluctant Not Be at the time. Um, Rango TV Raw. I had, you know, I looked at these guys. Mr. Lucario. I was just searching for answers. Oh, man, I hate bugs. <laughs> man, it's crazy. But, um... I'm just getting at it at this point where there's a lot of stuff I remember. Being in a red pill community and in everything else and just learning from the guys is eat the meat, spit out the bone. Period. I'm going to say this. And I looked at Rango's, Rango's opinion about it. I looked at his his way of looking at it. Uh, I still got to go over through some things with New Breed. And um, I'm looking at Minister Japs. I'm looking at the Sakari. I'm looking at practically everybody and how they're looking at this with the um, Kevin Samuels thing. So, it, it's a lot going on from this. First of all, um, I'm just, I mean, RIP to him, man. I mean, he, he spoke the truth with, he spoke some truths of it. Some things I could agree with, some things I, I basically disagree with, in my opinion. But that's no excuse for women to come out and keep on, basically, they're just going to bash this man. I'm going to tell you something real talk about this whole situation is this. And my own thoughts with it. I think there was some basically some Harry Potter crap going on, if you know what I mean. And I think there is. <laughs> but, you know, the most high judges and he has his reasons behind a lot of things on it. Some things you'll never know why God does a lot of things. And quite frankly, you won't know until the time is right and when it's revealed. Why? Did I say he leave a legacy behind? He left a, he left a legacy. He did left one. Information of what to do, what not to do. But he's been real truth about with women. About on it, on an honest opinion. And they don't like that. And they hate it for correction. They hated it. And I thought to myself, I mean, like, wow. You guys go to the doctor every week to be told that this is what's wrong with you. But when a man that doesn't have a white coat, like a doctor, it's like he's getting scrutinized. And we're trying to tell women the same thing. Why? Every single time. You have access to everything at your disposal, including... Uh, including as far as reason, getting a guy that has resources, getting a guy that's going to give you sex, getting a guy is this, and it's it's to a point where there, there's no room, there's no point of self improvement if you're getting all these things because comfortability, I think, is like I said, comfortability is a disease. It's not. It's kind of like a disease. It's it's a bad trait. Everybody when they get too comfortable because all their needs are getting met. It's just no motivation has been thrown out the window. Point blank. Point blank. 
semen retention is good. It's a good way to identify certain things and understand this. It gives you a sense of clarity and a clear mind of what you want in a partner. I want men to get married. I want you guys to have a life, a, a, a legacy behind. I want you to have the right women in your life, a woman in your life that's basically going to improve your life. And you improve hers. Y'all both are one. y'all can make millions y'all can have a family that's a joyful thing and this system doesn't like that it really doesn't it really don't um when i first saw him uh, and i look back at his old videos as an image consultant it's about dressing formal you look good you feel good and he actually portrayed that and when I looked at him, I stopped looking at it for a while. Some of his videos for a while and stuff. But, I mean, only thing I can say is, like, every time the women call in, they get mad. I'm like, well, that's the man's channel. Why would you call this man's channel knowing that he's going to give it to you straight up and you feeling some type of way in your feelings? Trust me and believe me. If there was a pile of crap on the ground would you pick it up why would you go and pick it up common sense this taught man the manosphere to me teaches men to identify the things that you was doing that you thought was right in your life and now to discover what you thought you was doing right was not how it was supposed to be how it's supposed to be how it really looked and if, say for instance you've been taught how to be this gentleman this nice guy and everything else but later on in life you didn't talk about semen retention you didn't talk about restraining from porn and masturbation and everything you was doing that you was depleting your energy you was having probably brain fog and not good cognitive and functioning but when these guys in these manosphere, these some of these guys on YouTube, who, or the things that they're doing, you just to eat the meat, spit out the bones. Your life is in your hands. It's whether you want to choose to serve the Most High or not, and follow His way, and He gives you a prosperous life. You guys can do it. It's been a lot going on. But, um, my thoughts on this whole thing with Kevin Samuels thing, it left a lot of um, good legacy behind with it. Um, my perception of it is right now is I think pretty much Fresh and Fit is going to take in, they're going to take that part of that mantle. They definitely are. And, uh, um, a couple of other YouTubers are going to try to follow suit behind it. But, um, like it always say, with great power comes great responsibility. Thanks to Uncle Ben. I'm going to tell you guys this from a words of wisdom. We all came from the same seed. We grew from the same ground. And we became a tree. But we all don't blossom together at the same time. We don't bloom together at the same time. You might start early. I might start late. I might start in the middle of my time, in the middle, in between early and late, and you might just start late. We're from the same tree, but we bloom different. Remember that. Understanding this, it's about passing on what you can give. It don't necessarily have to be your children, but you can pass on the words of knowledge and wisdom onto the next man that may have lost his way or may be feeling some type of way right now, feeling upset about himself, don't know what's going on with his life. You can show him the video, you can show him some videos, and you can pray for this man. That's a powerful thing. Prayer is a powerful thing. Pray for that brother. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Two commandments. 
Christ talked about. Love the Lord thy mind, love the Lord with all thy mind, body, and soul. That's first commandment. And love thy neighbor as thyself. It's not easy. It's not easy to forgive. But it comes with that strength and time. You forgive your brother. It takes time. You guys can do it. Man. You got to learn from the mistakes, man. What I can say is this way, man. We learning in this space. And Kevin Samuels has a mixture. Where I learn from it is it's influence a lot of men and new content creators to come on out and speak their truth. And we're promoting this, trying to be more better men. So in that past was the past. We here right now in the present, which is a good thing. Because it gives us a chance to repent. And be better men. Not better. Greater men. The full ultimate potential self. You want the ultimate potential of yourself. Keep it up, fellas. I want to say this, man. Wait. When you go to sleep at night wake up you didn't give up you didn't give up because why number one you kept moving but the most important thing of all is the most high showed his mercy and grace on you to get it right and being grateful it's hard times are hard I know you're gonna go through BS but take the learning lessons from a lot of men and older cats too. Ask the Lord for your path. But this man's death was like a big bloom. In so many cases, in so many ways, I think there, there, there has been some involvement in the root working and all that stuff been going on in that process against him and that's so women that are wicked and talking about and celebrating with that your time is coming I don't like that when people speak that bad about somebody like that on their deathbed when they die like that and they're not here to defend themselves for it yeah I understand people talk about you people gonna talk about you even after you going but to celebrate that man for how he's speaking the truth about women. That's crazy. You don't celebrate nobody's death like that. Nah. Mm -mm. Life has a funny way of coming back. You know what happens where there you refuse correction so many times instead of stop and look at this out of your pure thing you're still using the concept of ignorance is bliss you know where that happens everybody knows it there's always warning comes before destruction it does My thoughts on this is this. There's going to be a lot of men that's going to be focusing on their purpose now. There's going to be a lot of men that's going to mostly, I want them to go back to God and go back to Most High. There's going to be a lot of men that's going to the gym, that's getting in the spirit and know God for who he is. You know, if you really want a wife, you go to God and you show him that you're proving to be that husband material to lead a family you know when you can lead a family you can lead a whole congregation of people you know that and you know that for a fact that when you get yourself together 
step by step, meditation. You got to take small baby steps. And when a truck driver drives at 10 speed, sometimes basically the start off gear is the first gear. Or when you're riding a bike, the first thing is the first step. Before you get, before you put your other foot, that second foot on that pedal, what you do, you push it with that first foot in order to build that momentum up. And then here comes the second foot. Once a man realizes his worth and start building, you don't put up with it that much. Having that relationship with the Most High and following His commandments, it's a challenge, but it's simple with it. And applying His works. I believe in you guys. It's not going to stop from there. Men are going to take that man. Somebody's going to take that mantle up and carry it even further. But, like I said before, great power comes great responsibility. For much is given, much is more required. Are you going to use it for good or are you going to use it for evil? Because if you do use it for evil, you know the consequences behind that. You do it for good, then more outcomes and inspiring inspiration will come into place a lot of stuff you did on this channel you don't necessarily did talk to a lot of men which was kind of like to me it was kind of like man you should have done this man you could have at least talked to a lot of women man. I mean talk to some dudes and give them a personal advice but you talked to mostly a lot of women on there But I'm going to give you some food for thought. Out of the similar attention videos, you're going to notice that the devil is working hard trying to send agents and females that basically, that, like I said, that you would like to have out of your description to take your energy away from you. Got to be having discernment on that. A lot of discernment, man. A lot of it. So, I'm going to say this. And this is just me. I think there's going to be a little civil war between real women and the women that really wants to keep things kosher. Oh, I think there's going to be a civil war between real women. I think there's going to be a like a moment where women are not getting the husbands and they realize we've been bamboozled, we've been tricked. And the ones that want to stay in the system want to get things like it really, keep things like it really is. Do I do will I enjoy it? No. Because it's sad to see two people of the opposite gender can make a baby that didn't choose to be in this world, but see two opposing sides go up against each other because one thinks one better than the other. Instead of operating in their natural position in the way that God had commanded to be. Don't get it twisted. But yo, once you guys have a blessed weekend, shoot, I know I've been doing a lot of running arounds, and I want you guys to enjoy yourselves, man. Enjoy your life with it, but read the scriptures, because the more you read them scriptures, you're feeding yourself, you're feeding that bread of life. I'm not perfect or anything else. Still a sinner. But if God gives you a chance today, do the best you can to repent and do the right thing. You're not alone. You guys are not alone in this, man. 
I pray you guys get with like-minded people that want to build credit, start a business, have potential residual income without having to worry about anybody else working a nine to five. It's about ownership. I believe in you guys. Keep it up. Be out. Flex out.